Nusa Limbongen, what is it really like now? We've been living in Nusa Limbongen for the last month. Nusa Limbongen is incredibly interesting and has some incredible locations that I believe all people visiting Bali should come and see. This place has to be on your Bali itinerary. I'm going to show you exactly why. So what makes the Noosa Islands great? Firstly, above everything, the ocean here is incredibly blue. It's clean. It has some of the best snorkeling and diving that I've ever seen in the world. And they also have manta rays. The marine life here on these islands being Noosa Lombongan, Noosa Chenigan behind me, and behind that, Noosa Panida is going to blow you away. There are multiple beaches that you can explore that have picture perfect white sand. Two of my favorite beaches are Mahana Point and Mushroom Bay. Both of these places have incredible swimming opportunities where it's a little bit more calm and relaxing. Mahana Point also has incredible surfing. They also have a really cool restaurant that is right on the cliff for you to be able to sit and enjoy almost 270 degrees of ocean view. Another big difference living in Lombongan versus Bali mainland is that the driving experience here is way different. There is no loud motorbikes, there are no traffic jams, it's a lot more laid back. It's really like the island life that you might have in your head. So if you are looking for more of a relaxing holiday and want to stay away from the hustle and bustle, then getting out to Nusa Limbongan could be a great alternative for you. We're going to go now to the main area of Nusa Limbongan called Jungat Batu for some breakfast. And during this time of this Bali vlog, I'm going to be showing you around Nusa Limbongan of what we get up to on a day-to-day -day basis, some of the new updates that the islands are experiencing and some of the new infrastructures such as restaurants and beach bars and day clubs, spas, there's some really incredible spas here. So join me as we go for some breakfast and go and explore the island. <laughs> Okay, so this is where we have been staying. It's at a little place called Stardust Villa. Over there is the Yellow Bridge. Now that is a famous place that separates Nusa Lombongan and Nusa Chenigan. They're lovely little bungalows. They're very cute. Lots of garden area. There is the lagoon that separates Lombongan and Chenigan. Lovely staff too. This is Putu. Pagi! Sampai jumpa! Chico! Lots of dogs everywhere in Bali. That's one thing that you'll find. One piece of advice, guys. If you are going to be on this island, get yourself a nice scooter. Yeah, in Lombongan, there is still really terrible roads. A lot of bumps and potholes. To avoid having an accident, you're going to want to make sure that you rent a nice scooter. It's very bumpy. So this behind me is the island's main gym. It's super basic. There is no aircon. The resources and facilities are not as great. If you're just visiting for a holiday or a short amount of time, you don't even need a gym. Just come, get fat, relax, eat a lot of food, and chill like you're on a holiday. This is our breakfast little spot. It's called Bonza Cafe. So we pretty much just drove through the whole main town, start to finish. And if you saw, it doesn't look too developed, but what you will find in New Salambongan is that all of the amazing places are all on the beachfront. So you have to kind of go down all these little slip roads, and that's where you'll find the amazing cafes. You will find all of the beach clubs, you will find a lot of the fancy villas and hotels. We're going to show you that a bit later, what the beachfront looks like. Thank you. Behind me is a little convenience store here in Lombongan. There's definitely some items and things that you can't get here in Lombongan because you don't have access to big fancy shops and food markets. Although all your little things like your fruit 
your vegetables, your shower necessities and bathroom stuff, you can get here at these little convenience stores. So this is one of my favorite beaches here in Lombongan. It's called Mushroom Bay and it is such a perfect little place. Come swim, the water is always so blue and so clear and it's also a little bit protected so it's very calm, there's no big waves. What makes it perfect for swimming and relaxing and along this whole beach there are some beautiful restaurants like this one right behind me this is one of our favorite little restaurants to come eat at even though it's rainy season the weather is still so amazing now the thing with rainy season is that the thunderstorms and rain generally come in the afternoon making the morning time probably the best time to go out and do your activities do your tours but what's nice about Nusa Lambongan, Nusa Panida and Nusa Chenigan is that they do get way less rain than Bali mainland places like Ubud and Uluwatu and Changu those places seem to get a lot more rainfall where here it is kind of in a less rainy area so if you are coming in the rainy season to Bali this is a good place to prioritize in your itinerary to come spend some extra days. So if you are visiting Nusa Lombongan and you are looking for the ultimate travel guide, I've already made a video on the seven things to do, the seven best things to do on this island, including the top beaches to visit, the best cafes, and also some snorkeling information that you might need if you want to go snorkeling when in Nusa Lombongan. You can watch that travel guide up here in this corner and it's going to show you absolutely everything so if you're wondering why we chose to move to New Lombongan is because if you don't know I am the founder of a glamping lodge called Tropical Glamping it's located on the island of Nusa Penida what from here from New Lombongan to get there is a lot closer for me to go over there site manage to see our team to go and see the infrastructures we're currently building our third bungalow and right now i need to be over there a lot to coordinate with the contractors and the architects uh, to make sure that it turns out the dream that i want it to become uh, we currently are three months away from it being complete and it's currently looking really awesome if you want to watch a full video and a full tour of the villa that we are building then watch this video up here and it gives you a full run through of the place the amenities the features and what are we going to be including into this villa but that's the reason why we are out here it's a lot easier for me to jump on a boat and go over to Nusa Penida than it was from living in Changu it is a little bit further for me and if you're wondering how people and tourists get out here to the Noosa Islands, you need to get a fast boat. So in order to come to these islands, you're going to go to a harbour in Bali called Sanur. And from Sanur, you're going to jump on a fast boat that's going to bring you over here to Noosa Lombongan or Noosa Panida. Between 30 and 45 minutes, let's say, um, out there in the distance is Bali. And it's just a straight across. Um, and that is how all the tourists are getting here to the island. There's no airport or anything like that. The downside is when you do get here on boat, you are going to have to get your feet wet because there are no main ports or harbors here on Limbongan. There is on Nusa Panida, but if you're coming to Limbongan, well, you're just going to arrive right at the beach and you're going to have to climb off the boat. Tickets are around 200,000 IDR one way uh, some boat companies are a little bit different in price but around that once you're here you can just rent yourself a scooter that's the easiest way to get around is just buy a scooter alternatively there are trucks here on the island that can take you all around um, with ease but no aircon vehicles you will find that over in Nusa Panida though so if you are going for a full island tour in Panida expect a nice comfortable car with aircon because that island is almost i would say four or five times bigger 
Dan Nisa Lambongan. Okay, we are at our massage parlor. What's this epic place here? Now, right now it is low tide, so this is completely dried out. But during high tide, you should see how beautiful this place is because the water comes right up here below, and you are pretty much hovering over the water with this incredible view behind us. Hello. <laughs> so cute. Hello. That was amazing. So relaxing. We actually had sounds of thunder in the distance and it was on and off with rain. That's why they came and closed these things. Um, Time for some dinner. How are you? Good, thank you. Uh, yes, thank you. Yeah. Ordered a pizza. Hopefully, it's going to be amazing. Let's wait and see. She's ordered some gnocchi. Also, going to be pretty interesting. The quality of food here in Lombongan, I would say, is almost that of Bali mainland not quite but a place like this I'm sure is going to have extremely good food oh, that's cool that is the end of this Bali vlog here in Musa Lombongan if you guys have enjoyed this video smash it with a like and I really appreciate your support if there's anything that you want to know about the island or anything to do with Bali, living in Bali, anything, then drop a comment below and I'll happily get back to you and see if I can give you any advice on your travels to this amazing place.